Are we baiting each other? Are you filming? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. Welcome to episode six of Knitting Crochet with Linda and June. <laughs> and today is um, all about socks really, isn't it? And um, it's a roundup of what we made in May. Finished projects. Our whips we have on our needles, hooks and our dream knitting so we've we came back off our holiday last week and we had a brilliant time didn't we yes it was fab we had a really really good time just what the doctor ordered and um it's taken us a week to get back to normal hasn't it <laughs> and the rest <laughs> so we're here ready and we're aiming to go yep yeah so um all that we talk about, all the links to the patterns, to the yarn, will all be in the description box uh, where you can find us. We've got a Facebook page um, where we sell all our um, project bags uh, called Disney Sisters Creations. We've got a group called Knit and Crochet with Linda and June. I'm on Ravel We're both on Ravelry. You're June Allison, are you? Mm -hmm. June Allison and I'm Linda Simpson Designs and we've got Facebook group and whatever. Anyway, all the links are in the description box below if you'd yeah. like to join us. So, and I uh, want to welcome all our new subscribers as well because while we've been away we have gained a few new subscribers. So welcome, I hope you enjoy um, the content that we put out and um, we're going to get to it. So welcome everybody and um, we're starting with um, finished projects. How many finished projects have you got, June? Five. I've got six. You can go first then. So I'm going to go first. Which always okay. goes first, don't it, eight, doesn't she? So, first thing I want to share with you, it took me five months, but I got it finished. And this is my Sedar Colourwork Tea. Um, using Sadar yarn and I absolutely love it. It fits. What you do is you do the front and the back and the sleeves and then you join them and then do the yoke. I did actually go up a, um, a hook si um, a needle size because I'm um I'm a tight knitter but I get I get gauge every time. Um so I know for my colour work I do knit tighter so I did go up a needle size and I've washed and blocked it and I'm so pleased with how it turned out so it's lilac purple and I've used the grey there so that is um one finished project to share with you and I've actually got the pattern here so if you just bear with me while I hang that up I've got everything here so this is the pattern and um, you can actually this is from black sheep wools and I actually use the yarn that was you required to and they give you all the colour options but I went for my own colour options I think they do do a digital copy they do black sheep wools do actually do digital copies of a lot of the patterns um, so I will put the link anyway um, especially if you're out of the country if you're in you know Canada America wherever you are and you want this pattern they do actually do the digital so just watch I'll go on and there won't be it so but I'm, I'm almost certain because I have shared this pattern before so that is my first finished project so what's yours June? <coughs> I wasn't even ready for this was I? no 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 should I do them? yeah yeah so my first finished project it's Bigfoot socks. No, they're not Bigfoots. And the twins. Look, guys, she got twinnies. And she made them herself. And um, these are a June's first pair of socks. And I got her to use the big size. I got her to use 3mm instead of the 2.5 um, that I use because I've used this yarn. And for her first pair of socks, I thought if she got the three, she could control the needles better. And and it's all about muscle memory when you're working your socks. So um, she did she did the heel flap and gusset, 
um, and I am so proud of it and they fit lovely don't they so this is the ideal size for me because I have like my feet tend to swell my ankles don't they yeah so, so they're ideal for me and they were made in turkey they were made in turkey guys and I didn't end up with an extra piercing on my ears in on the plane no and I used a Hobie silly sock flower power and it's called forget me not which was my the mums, seeds which were the seeds that I got for me for everybody to take to plant to remember me mum by yeah um yeah so it was a bit Linda gave me this and she's just like if you give me the, the number I'll let you know what it was called and she phoned me back she said you're never going to believe it called forget me not so they were meant to be so there's my first pair of socks so if I do decide to make another pair Linda will not know until they're made and the twinnies yeah isn't that brilliant guys I'm so proud of it so my next finished project is something that I've made for our June actually our mum loved absolutely loved whenever you went to my mum's she always somehow or other whatever time of the year she always had lilac tulips and um Sarah Moo our lovely Sarah Moo was showed us the book that she had um and she actually she's done a couple of these anyway um, by Muffy Corn and I looked saw it and I saw that they had the tulip and this tulips in it's in blue here but it is um it's pink in the book anyway um so I had some lilac yarn I've used Shepier's Catone you all know and so I've actually made this so um she can um my mum will always have tulips by her photograph yeah um so yeah so this is what I've made this is the little tulip I've used pipe cleaner and um yeah so I am absolutely over the moon with how she looks and um yeah so this is for our June I used a Shepier's Katona as I um I used the green I used pipe cleaners so the um the flower could bend down and um I've used tan white and um, and that but I'm absolutely over the moon and I've just stuffed it as your usual so so that is for you and to put by me mum would have loved that it's beautiful isn't it yeah so you know Thank you I, you always you're always looking oh yeah because sometimes I can't find them so I don't know where that where where she find, used to find them I can find multicolored ones but I can't find lilac so yeah thank you very much you're welcome no little ding dong inside no 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 bell okay did you want a bell <laughs> can you imagine if it dingled oh oh <laughs> you'd have heart attack oh, i'm telling you i'm telling you <laughs> so yeah so that that's um, my and katona shepia's katona is um yeah, so that's for mum yeah so we'll put her there for, for now yeah we'll leave her there so you can still see her uh, yes, yeah, so that's mine. What's your second project? So my next, next, my next finished project. Finished project is our little legs, Lyra. I promised I'd make her a couple of little cardies. So this is my first one I've made for. Is that on the right way? Yeah. So I've made a little short sleeved lilac cardigan, and it's a King Cole pattern five six zero seven. Again, I'll put the link um, below and this is the cardigan that she's just made i've got a light on there and i'm not sure whether i like it i might turn it off no yeah, just take it out it's got, oh. it's got the plastic on it um, there you go there we go so and you can see the little pattern it's absolutely beautiful the pattern's supposed to go up but i didn't like it so i adopted it and i love king curl because you get two patterns in one and on the other side is like a long sleeved but I thought with the summer coming up I'll make her the little short sleeved one and I used Wendy my favorite um supreme double knit sorry my mind went blank then and lavender I La used lavender 
colours lavender yes. and that's what I like about Wendy they put the actual name the colours of the yarn excuse me yeah they actually name them which is brilliant yeah. I have got the buttons I've just been too lazy to sew them on because I want to make her um, a couple more before I give her them well one more yeah so that's for my little legs yeah so my next one is another amigurumi and this i'm blaming i'm blaming um amanda panda obsessive crochet lady um sarah sarah moo crafty moo sarah and sam from mamfa's makes i'm blaming them for this because i went out and i bought the imkin book i've already done one and this is number two and one horn is bigger than the other guys don't ask me how the heck i've done it but i love it and i love the little tech i i really enjoyed making them i thought it was fun 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 so um i've got all the things for the next one but i haven't made i haven't, I haven't even started it yet so i'm, I'm always going to be behind um but it's done and um so i've made a note of all what the next one is and june's give me her instructions so i'll be doing june so this is crochet impkins by megan lap the link will be in the description box below and um, i got this book and the other book from amazon and uh, yeah so and again this yarn is yarn that i've had in my stash for a couple of years it's um hobie's um rainbow eight four which is like a finger weight um i know um a lot of them uh, I, I know um amanda panda's using um thread i know um sam's using three weight which is double knit and i know our sarah's using four weight which is an aaron and i'm using two weight which is a uh, finger weight four ply so yes yeah, so that's that one done so I'm, I'm glad that's done and out of the way so that's that one done so my next one my last oh no miss me yeah because i've got two other things to show haven't it yeah so i purchased this yarn james c brett driftwood double knit it's a um, anti-pilling acrylic 100 percent and decided to make myself something and i finished it it's not we were talking about this before guys it, it was a whip the last time but you know what it is so soft yeah yeah absolutely so soft it's like baby soft yeah. it really is and i went up a size because the last not me um not me higher tees but me other one i made in the finger weight the lilac one i felt like it was a <laughs> yeah yeah so, so i made it yeah so i made it but a it bit looks bigger lovely. i love the pattern yeah you took this on holiday with you didn't you no i finished it finished it no i brought it here before i went i wasn't oh, here before yeah. we went mm -hmm. last night and i finished it when i got home mm -hmm. I, I did some more when we came home mm -hmm. and then i finished it when i got home mm -hmm. yeah so it's very nice isn't it it's beautiful i love the colors that's almost like um it's like as though it's a it's it, a it, it automatically striped mm -hmm. except when i had to join the yarn and then it, it went out it to went sink. out to sink but yeah. it just looks natural i think yeah it looks lovely yeah beautiful and i can wear it in the summer on its own yeah and i can wear it in the winter over a sweater yeah yeah or a shirt yeah not mm -hmm. really a shirt person no i am yeah no you are mm -hmm. yeah so I'm made aware. up yeah made up what's the pattern my skin it's um it's king curl again everyone and it's five six double one and you got that on one side and you got the waistcoat, on the, waistcoat on, the on the other side yeah 
Isn't that lovely? Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I make mine a bit longer though, don't I? Yeah. I think we all do that, don't we? We always make it to fit us, which yeah. is the beauty of making our own making our own sweaters and whatever. Yeah. Um Oh, we've got somebody coming in. Spice is in the garden. Have you left her in the garden? She won't come in. Right, okay, okay then. Spy Rick is lip nipping out and Spice won't come in. She's a naughty girl. She's a naughty girl. So, um, I'll finish this off, fin do mine. So, my next one is a pair of socks by... Uh, hold on. Oh, do you know? It's the last one. So, I used King Cole's Norse four ply, and these are I started my Christmas knitting, my Christmas gift knitting. And these are, and I've actually got brothers, they're not sis, they're not, they're not exact, but I don't think I've done two. You can see they're not the kind of sisters kind of thing or brothers, not twins, but. Um, yeah, these are for my best friend's partner, Andy. So these I've made these for him. Uh, Three point five, no, two point five needles. I always use um, nine inch circular, um, and I follow the a vanilla sock pattern by K from Crazy Sock Lady. So that is finished project number four. Do you want me to do five and six? And then five and six, guys, are... Hold on. Oh, for goodness sake. Five and six, again, are for Leslie, my, be my best friend. And I've made her socks. She's got small feet like me. So this one is... This one is Crocus. Again, 2.5, 9 inch circular. So I finished these on holiday. I did these on holiday. I am taking part in Crazy Sock Lady Sock Camp. So I finished one pair, but I did these. And then, was this the one I took on holiday or this one? No, it's this one I took on holiday. And they are actually twins. So I've got twin socks. And before I went on holiday, I did this. So I think, what one's this one? This is... This is... Yeah, they're cactus. A crocus. crocus. So they're crocus. These are foxglove. Is it foxglove? Do you know what? That's why I kept the balls inside, so I knew. Yeah, foxglove. Yeah, foxglove. Yeah, so this is foxglove. Yeah, that's definitely what the the one of the crocus is it. Yeah, this one that's crocus. That's yeah, yeah. definitely crocus. Yeah, it is. So that's crocus, and this is foxglove, and they are Hobie, the Hobie silly sock flower pop. Uh, seventy five percent wool, twenty five percent polyamide. They wash beautifully, and um, and that. So yeah, so they are my six finished projects. As I said, it's socks, socks, socks this month. Well, it was for May. So yeah, so I'm quite pleased that they're out and done and dusted and out of the way. So what are your last two finished projects? My last two bags. Mm. I made. If you remember, I bought this this material. And I showed it on one of the videos that we did, didn't mm -hmm. I? So my last two are, I made myself a Disney bag. No. In one. Obviously it's got projecting. Yes, it's got a projecting. And it has the, as usual, the pockets at the back. With the where you put your crochet and hooky pencils, whatever else, and then it has the big pocket at the front where you can fit your exercise, your, your notebook, your little notebook, or your tin, your notions tin, and inside you get your little, which everybody raves over these, it's your little stitch mark, your, for your light bulb stitch markers, and obviously I've got my little dinosaur on as well 
so I made myself one of them so I made these two to take you with didn't I Linda yeah to put my um working yeah because I took I, I took the socks and I took crocheting didn't I mm -hmm. I've got to garage the crocheting and then the other one let me just sneak this out so you can't see it. and then the other one is a Simpson sock bag and I did it in the opposite colour but I gave myself a nice fluffy bottom that I'd used previously in the Torton Toast and I've added on the end a little blue dinosaur a little blue dinosaur and inside same specs you get your little pocket where you can put your crochet and hook your pencil and then the big pocket I made into two little ones so I can fit me tin if my, my notions tin or my notion pouch can go in there in there I've got me here uh, because I had a summer cold while we were away didn't I and passed it on to her and then she gave it to me guys yeah. it was lovely so we lived on these so I've got one of them and a pencil in it I've just found but I did the pockets different on this one didn't I yeah and, got... and obviously you get your stitch marker holder I did my pockets differently on this one I said to Linda oh look what I've done to my pockets I did navy blue inside and I added so the pocket is navy blue at the bottom and then that the material from little bit of material I had from the Disley bag so I just made it a bit night a bit different for me treated myself so they're my finished projects four and five yeah and I, in there I've got my notions box just put that in there I've got my stitch holder and I've got my project that you I'll show you in a minute uh -huh. and I think that note we're going to take a break because I need to go and bring spice in from the garden because I don't like uh, Rick's gone out and we're up here and I don't like leaving her outside because she's Spicy a little bugger she's not supposed yeah to. she's a little monkey so we will come back after and we'll have a drink as well yeah. so we'll come back and go through works in progress and of course dream knitting yes okie okay, so we'll see you in a bit and we're back and we're back <laughs> so now we're going to talk about works in progress how many have you got two well you always want one ahead of me so yeah so you've got two and i've got three i'm going to go first guys so oh, what a surprise <laughs> so first works in progress is socks so this is another pair of socks for the summer sock camp again it's the hobie silly sock silly sock flower pop and this one is called sunflower although the colors lovely a lovely i've never seen a sunflower this color before but i'm really enjoying it i love this yarn it's um it's a really nice and this is another christmas present um but i'm not saying who because i know the person who's going to receive it watches the video so um yeah so this is going to be a christmas present so i'm getting on top of my christmas presents so that's that i'm really enjoying it it's really nice yarn to work with so if you've never or you've never tried it i mean for a commercial yarn it's really good it is 75 percent polyamide 2.5 percent no 75 percent wool 25 percent polyamide which is nylon and um yeah so i use a 2.5 nine inch circular and they're what i always use i use um to do the toe i use dpns and that's the way i've always done them but um the vanilla sock is a sock pattern that i follow from crazy sock lady and i've got it down i just cast on and just go with the flow so that is project number one for me Project number one for me is this is a basil lock on it. So when you close it, it locks. Um, sometimes I forget. Right. Is a cardigan. 
for my little legs, which is Lyra, her granddaughter, when I can get it out. And I'm using my Wendy. Wendy yarn. Supreme you double knit. I love I love this. Can you see the pattern? Isn't it beautiful? Lovely yarn. It is really nice yarn. And when I bought this, I didn't look at the colour. I just thought Lyra's favourite colour is pink. pink. Pink nanny. Pink nanny. Pink nanny. So Lyra's favourite colour is pink. And she loves Barbie. Linda said to me, what are you, what are you making? Where can progress? What yarn are you using? I'm only using Barbie Pink. It's called Barbie Pink. <laughs> Bar she's going to look lovely. Um, Lyra is blonde. Oh, yeah. and she's a sassy little. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. a sassy little yeah. two-year-old. And I, you, three. Yeah. I used, um, I made this pattern for Tony when she mm. was having the baby, didn't I? Mm -hmm. um, I got it, I think I got it from Lovecraft. And it's that one. But I don't, for Lyra, I didn't want to do it all holy. Holy. I didn't want to do a holy She didn't want pattern. the pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She didn't want the lace pattern all over it. She just wanted it on I the bottom. I just wanted it on the bottom for her. And obviously I'm going to put it the same amount of rows on the sleeves for her because I'm going to make this one long. Um, yeah. So. So, yes. So that's. That's mine, and the beauty of this is your back, your front, and your backs are all on one until you get to the harm, 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 holes, and oh. yeah, arm holes, oh. and then you split it. Hence why I have a stitch holder because I can't find where to put me, me, me stitch cord, and my tins I bought. Mm -hmm. Can't find them. Really? Yeah, I don't know where to put them. But I need to do a big clear out of the yarn cupboards because we brought yarn back from Turkey. Yeah, and I need I've to... I've still got space, June. I need to accommodate. I've still got space. Yeah, I can see, Linda. So that means I can buy more yarn. Yeah, Linda. So that's my first work in progress. So my second work in progress is another sock. Oh, what a, what a nice. And um, But this is by my lovely, our lovely friend yes. Nancy from Nick Sip Happy. And it's um, all the proceeds from this pattern went to breast cancer um, research in Brun New Brunswick in Canada where Nancy lives. And it's called the Titty Gaga Socks. So every sock pattern that she sold... Um, all the proceeds from the patterns went to this charity and I think she raised over a thousand Canadian dollars which was amazing mm. she might have even raised a lot more so when I know um, I did the same last year I bought last year's pattern and um, so I've, I'm using Beehive Yarns. Now, you know Beehive Yarns is another of my UK favourites. Uh, I get sock yarn every month, but this is not um, This is a Blossom, um, the Simply Pleasures Yarn Club. And this is the yarn. Um, and this is the sock pattern. I've actually started the sock pattern and uh, I'm really loving it. So there we go. And I'm loving the way, just the pops of green every now and again. And um, I really do, do I'm not like really it. a pink lover, but that is lovely yarn. It it's is. nice, isn't it? Um, and so soft. Yeah. Now, I did use my Hobie yarn winder. You know, I have had so much trouble with yarn winders. I've bought the most expensive yarn winders down to the cheapest yarn winders. And I never, ever get a decent cake. Or if I get a cake, I then have to put it into a ball. So, after a lot of research, I bought another yarn winder. Mm -hmm. But this time, the yarn winder comes with a little gadget that your yarn goes through and then you put it on the thing for the cake uh, for the the yarn winder to actually do the cake so i'm hoping that it works if it doesn't i'm just going to give up and just wind me on i don't know what it is i do um 
Rick bought me one for Christmas a couple of years back. I think I used it twice and I, I, I took the actual um, cake off the the thing that it was on and it just fell to bits and I thought I, I, I was so so disappointed so I don't know what I'm doing wrong guys so anyway I've given myself one last try and I will report back to you but the Hobie one absolutely useless absolutely useless I don't know why I paid why I bothered but it might be the way you're holding your face when you do it you know I know but I try all different ways you cheeky monkey so anyway so that's whip number two, three, two. what's your whip number two so my whip number two is so I was on black sheep balls and I saw this pattern and it was very apt to the fact that it's called after my granddaughter Lyra by West Yorkshire Spinners yep so I thought I, I went on it and I had a little read about it and it said this was online and you you knit it in the round you know what I love now making them in the round you put your star from the bottom so you knit from the round up and then you do the sleeves and you add it and then you add it all together and you do the the yoke which has got the pattern on if you can see the pattern so I thought right so I came down and I told Linda about it and Linda had the proper pattern so of course I pinched it and I am using we went to, yeah well we went to Newbury this is when we went to Newbury I picked up this um, good old fashioned double knit it's called I don't know what colour it is emerald green it is what is it? Mm -hmm. oh, right, it's emerald green I don't know where she found it. it was emerald green, but it's emerald no, but green. No, it, it looks like emerald green to me. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I got it. It's not got a code on or nothing or a name because I bought it in the pack. Yeah, it was in off him. It was yeah. in in a pack. So I, I got that, and I'm knitting, knitting in the round. See, like her stitch stoppers, guys. Some old lady bought me them. Me. Yeah, there. Mini Mouse. Mini Mouse. So yeah, so I thought I'm going to have a go. Apt that it's, um, I didn't even realise when I first saw it that it was it was called Lyra. I just thought, oh, that's a lovely pattern. It's nice. And then when I read it and it said, the Lyra is made in the rat, I went, oh, I've got to make that. Got to make that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's my, I've got two things on the go at once now. And I'm, I'm up to two. So yes, yeah, so I'll keep you up to date on how I'm doing with that one because I've got a lot of bags to make. Yes, yes. A lot of bags. Yep. So Definitely. yes, so that's my second. Right, my third is um, Kaiti, uh, who's the yarn whisperer on Instagram. Um, I made the saltier tea with his yarn. I, I'm using his yarn on one of my advent blankets. Um, I love his yarn and I noticed... I, for some reason I love magpies I don't know what it is about them I just think they're so majestical and mischievous and anyway Kitey along with Heather and Miss Mrs G um, have done a collaboration to do this mischievous magpie shawlette um, knit along a uh, crochet along sorry and I thought oh, I've got to go I've got I've got to join so I have I've joined it and I started it on the 1st of June and that is the shawl and um, so you can see the black and the white and the blue which are this is the I'll just show you that this that's the somatics and that is the inspiration for the shawl it's crocheted three millimeter hook I'll put all the link in the description box below. So I am on, so this is section one, section two, section three, section four. And Mrs. G makes the most um, awesome, awesome, awesome um, stitch marker. Uh, no, it's not quite 
a magpie but uh, katie did um, a live on instagram and people were saying it's a magpie in in fancy dress and then you've got this one and i always like when i'm crocheting i always like to put a stitch marker so i know which is the front and which is the back so i know that that is the front and um yeah so i'm on section four um we've got until the 19th of July but the way that I'm going I more than likely have it done by the end of this month and um, these are the colours the blue has actually got Stellina in and um, as you can see they're in balls they were in cakes but it took me three hours to rewind this because I don't know what happened, but anyway, they were so, all knotted, weren't they? Yeah, they were all knotted. So that's the 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 blue. This is the um, the the. It, it's not a pure black. It's kind of like got. Um, a, it's really nice, and I love his yarn. His yarn is so squishy and soft. It looks like charcoal grey. Yeah, it is. It, mm. it does look like that. Yeah. And then I've got obviously the cream. So mm. they are the colours of. Of the magpie and it really does look like a magpie doesn't it the colors and the and the way the somatics um the inspiration of the photograph so yeah so that and i'm using it my clover three millimeter which you know is my favorite hook size um well my favorite hooks not my favorite hook size i use any hooks really and that is all our whips for this month i have got more whips but I haven't worked on them because obviously we've been away and um, and I've just just been doing other things so we're going on to dream knitting and again I've got three and June's got two so I'm gonna go first what a surprise what a surprise guys so my first dream knitting I've actually got the pattern but I've also got the yarn as well so and I'm hoping to i've got a couple of projects i'm hoping i'm going to finish this month and i can make a start on these this month so the first one is a crocheted one and i've had this pattern and i i did start it but i've got the wrong weight of yarn and this is a sport weight yarn and it's by shandy at express and fiber arts and the designer actually is sati glenn I think it's Sati Glen. Is it Sati? Yes, yeah, Sati Glen is actually designed this. So I went and I bought drops, baby merino. I've got burgundy and grey, and they are going to be the colours of for this sweater. And it's a crochet sweater, and I just love it. It's got three quarter length sleeves, and I absolutely love it. This is a hundred percent yarn. Um, reasonable price I put what I did was um, here in the UK sport is not quite as easy to come by mm. so I, I googled sport and it came up that baby drops baby merino was a sport weight and I already had some and I thought oh my god so I went on to the website and I ordered more and ordered more so I got a, a, a cube full of sport yarn You've got to, haven't you? Because I've got quite a few sport patterns. So, yeah, so that is my first dream knitting. And it's in my Sheila bag, my medium Sheila bag that our June has made. Yeah, Harry Potter. And uh, everything's in there. My notions, <coughs> my whatever. Excuse me. It's all there, smiling at me, saying, come on, mummy get some stuff out the way let's get stuck in let's get started because i always like to have a few crochet projects as well because i think it just helps um your hands as well you know mm. she's laughing at me there guys i can see it and she doesn't know what to do when i say things like that <laughs> uh, go on what's your face dream knitting well, my first dream was knitting. And as soon as I finish Lyra's party, it's getting started. 
as I plan to wear it. So my first dream knit is the Bryonette sweater by Stephen West. And as you can see, I will be making long sleeves. See the, the pattern? He was making this on a video and I was like, oh, I need it, I need it. So I'm starting that and I'm using my Elise Cotton Gold that we picked up in Turkey. Oh, when we went on holiday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We did bring young back, guys. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. And we were only a kilo over our actual weight. Yeah, we were. Because we sucked the life out of it. We took some yeah. vac vacuum bags. Yeah. And, and when I sucked the life out of when it. When I opened the zip on the yarn, I turned the yarn so I like went from being like that thin to like poof. And you, all popped out. You know, like when you wear a pair of pants and it really tight and you know, you've put a little bit of weight on, but you still want to wear these pants and then you... You suck your belly in and you put them in and then after you've been out and, and you take it off and you go. <sighs> That's what it's like. Yeah, yeah, honest. Yeah, so it's 100 grams and I think it says it takes five, 500 gram balls, which I've bought. But I'm only going to do my sleeves today. Yeah. Because I time. don't like, I end up with them up here. Every time I buy, I wear something long sleeve, it always ends up up here. So I'm going to make mine. To um, to the to there yeah, yeah just just above there where I made me yeah so behind you'll make me. it to there and then yeah. do like a two inch rib yeah. yeah yeah I might do longer yeah. yeah yes so it's cotton club Elise cotton gold yes so I shall be losing this and it's so soft it is lovely and soft mm -hmm. it's it, it's kind of the I don't think the camera really shows the color it's like um. It's like a creamy beige, you know, um, a very milky latte. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. That's the, that's the colour. <coughs> yeah. It is beautiful. It's so soft. I was looking at all colours then, unusual blue, and, and I thought, no, I need to go out my I need to go. I need to do it because when I open the cupboard now, we, I've got like, I've got that, that green I'm making me other jumper in, and then I've got another green. And then I've got a, a different, a, another great hand of thoughts now. I need to come outside. I need to, yeah. And this is, this is actually 55% uh, cotton and 45% acrylic. So it's mm. going to be absolutely, yeah. it's going to be amazing. Yeah. It is. It's lovely yarn. Yeah. Elise is my, one of my favourite yeah. yeah. Turkish yarns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. So, yeah. so that's what I shall be making. My Stephen West. I'll let you know how it turns out. So my next dream knitting is again from Expression Fiber Arts, Shandy. And I think it was we come was it either the Friday we came home or the Fri no, it would have been the Friday we came home. And this was a free pattern on the website. Um, you know, Shandy does a free and just look at it there absolutely gorgeous so the yarn that i had for the pebbles that i i, I had the wrong one i actually is the right yarn for this one so i needed two of two of a and four of b so my colors that i'm doing are these two colors so this, I needed two of these, and this is uh, Robin's Egg Blue, and this one is, has this not got a colour on it? Oh, this not got a colour on. A uh, Blossom. Oh, so, um, so they're what I'm using, and it's, um, the, they're both luminous, are they? No, that's, re anyway. And the bow, this one is viscose bamboo, merino wool, lyocell, um, 402 yards, 366 metres. And this is 100% superwash merino, 400 yards. So together, I think they will be really, really nice. So that is what I'm using for my second dream knitting. And it's really nice that it's a free pattern, guys. 
so and you've got the somatics on the back which is always good and the designer of this one is emma B B buttram emma buttram is the designer of this pattern so and i've got this in my disney bag that arjun made for me and uh, yeah so i've that i've got that that's all ready and that is what is going to be used i'm testing out this new yarn winder it'll be fun my second and last dream knit is king cowl again so with it you got the cardigan which you could make as a waistcoat as well or the tea vest vest the vest so i decided the vest and I found this James Seabrett Aurora double knitting and it's got cream, beige, pink and pink and like a whitey and offish white mm -hmm. yeah so I'm, I found that in the cupboard and I thought oh that looks nice that'd be nice as one of these so James Seabrett it is and it's got no colour it's 100 grams. Yeah, it's a 100 gram ball and it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. And it's 345 metres. That's the same yarn that I use to do my capullo. Yeah, capapulo, I was going to call it. The capullo. The capullo. Yeah, so that's what I'm making. I'm going to make that with that. Yeah, it's going to look lovely. Yeah, yeah. I might borrow that pattern off you, I like the best. Might you? Yeah. Mm, okay. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so my last dream knitting, guys, is the Cavat by Caitlin Hunter. And when I saw this, I just fell in love with it. I'll take it out the bag. A bit of thing. See, I'd make that, but make it longer. Oh, it will be longer. Mine will be longer. But um, so it's a sport weight. Hope you can see it. Let me see if I've got another another thing on the back. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. You can see it there. So it's a sport weight. So, yeah. And I thought, oh, sport weight. Excellent, excellent. I can I can buy more of this yarn. So I have done. I am going to use the same specs as before. I'm using brown and pink together. Again, out my comfort zone. I don't usually use brown. Um, and uh, it's not... It, it's like a dusky pink. Don't you mean pink? No, it's a dusky pink. Well, I mean, don't you mean you don't usually use pink? Yeah, I don't usually use brown on a solid brown on its own. Mm -hmm. So, um, the again, it's drops. I didn't give you the specs, did I? Um, 50 grams, 175 metres, 191 yards, and it's 100% wool. And so they are the colours that I'm going to use um, for that. You can't really see it, do you? Poppy. No, can you see it there? Because she's got a tape over it. See? It doesn't have any sleeve. Well, it does, but the, like a cappy sleeve. Yeah, but um, yeah, I I I think I would add length. Uh, I I would add length to the sleeves and to the body. Yeah. So I've got more than more than it it it, it said. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've got more of the yarn that it said it I, I would need. Yeah. So the stand oh she does the standard length, yeah. So I'll I'll be fine. I'll be fine the standard length. So yeah, so they are our dream knittings for so I'm hoping to at least get at least one of these um I finished one project yesterday, but that's for June, and that'll go in June. I'll I'll, I'll record that next year, uh, next, next year, next month, because it's a June finished project, and I'm nearly finished another project, so that's two. So I'm hoping to 
to at least cast on two new ones um and that so yeah i'm having a break from doing any, any amigurumi this month i'll i'll go back to it in july um because there's i've got quite a few things that are, are kind of near in the end mm -hmm. and i need to get them when i when i get to that position i need to get them finished so um have you got anything have you got any dream knitting patterns that you have got in on the waiting to start um just to really let you know that our seven um we were i was supposed to we were supposed to be picking the winner on the thursday but we we came home thursday so we couldn't so we extended the giveaway for the 7k subscribers and that closes on next wednesday well it, this go we're recording this on thursday and it goes live on sunday so the following wednesday which is the 12th yeah it is 9th 10th 11th yeah 12th, 12th yeah the 12th of um june it will close on the thursday everybody who's left a comment uh, has gone on a little yellow sticky and put in a bucket and um, there's a surprise as well um which we won't say till we, we, we're video. not going to say until we actually do the video which is after the gift away is closed yep. next wednesday so if you've not entered make sure that you enter i will put the link to the gift gift away in the description box below so check that out yeah um as they say you've got to be in it to win it yeah yeah you never know you mm. never know and um last but not least um we will not be going live we will not have gone live we thursday. will not have gotten live thursday when we record this because things have uh, unforeseen circumstances mean that it's un we're unable to do that, that yeah so our first live will be on the 27th of june which is a thursday at 6 p.m yep british summertime which i do believe is 1 p.m eastern and and that and it's seven o'clock south african time and it's eight o'clock for europe and um, central is 12 mountain is 11 and pacific is 10 a.m in the morning so if you can join us on the 27th we look forward to seeing you then it's just unfortunate that um things have come up come up that we we're just unable to do it so um we're looking forward to um yeah. seeing you all on the 27th and um, as, as i said welcome to all our new subscribers welcome to our can uh, our subscribers of long standing who come and leave comments or you know thumbs up you know we appreciate life does get in the way and you can't watch everybody's video and um, but if you just leave a thumbs up that that helps in the algorithms for us not only for our our channel but for everybody's channel so even if you never leave a comment on anybody's channel if you just leave a thumbs up that does mean a lot yeah yeah so you know we really do appreciate all that and uh, that being said we hope you've enjoyed our finished job projects and our works in progress and our dream knitting which of our projects did you enjoy seeing um what are you all working on and um we hope to see you all again real soon yeah but definitely on the 27th we will go live yeah and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you all then so take care everybody stay safe but more importantly guys be kind to you and we will see you all again real soon bye, bye.